Welcome back, guys, to the second episode of Road to R9. And in the first episode, we left it off with a couple of deals. One was Hervin Lozano for 1.9k. And as you can see, we actually sold him for 6,000. Zielinski did actually sell for what we wanted him to sell for, for around about 2.8. We only made around about 600 coins. But 600 coins profit at this stage is, you know, 600 coins profit nonetheless. Delaney we got for 1.7 we sold it for 3000 so a pretty good start. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to show you um, the method, what I'm going to be using for mainly this episode. Um, and that is obviously going to be the shadow method. So basically all you want to do is do gold, uh, shadow, and then probably with the amount of coins I've got is about max price 3000 minimum buy it now 3000 100 and i'm going to be showing you live um how i would actually approach this so obviously with the shadow you want to be looking at players that you know center backs left backs um cdms and some certain sentiments so wise up we're going to look at him he's already got a current bid we're going to have a look at rudiger uh, zianchenko i know doesn't really sell for that much we're going to move on to the next page is there anyone here uh marcelo goes for about 20k unfortunately we do not have that just yet and we're going to look at Tar. And also, whilst we are here, we're just going to have a quick look at Hunter. So let's just look at Hunter. Again, this time you're looking for, you know, centre mids, cams and strikers. Is there anything in the first minute? Yes, there is Rebic. So we're going to look at Rebic. Uh, is there anyone else? Uh, we're going to look at Bergwin, and that would be it. So let's look at... Uh, how much they go for respectively so wiser right we might not win this card because obviously you might not you know get there in time but wiser all you would do is you'd search him up uh in a shadow and then we want to try and make like five to six, so three thousand coins for, you know i said we want to make you know around about um a thousand coins we want to make around about a thousand coins so let's just look at him just to see, you know, how much he actually goes for it. Because I sort of, you know, I sort of jumped the gun a bit because I've just searched 3K just to see how much he does actually go for in a shadow. Let's see. It's 3.5, 4K, 4.4. 4. 4. Obviously, that doesn't mean, you know, that he's going to actually sell for 4.4. So we've got to be wary of that. Uh we're probably going to go around about 2.5k. Whilst we wait for that, we're going to obviously look at... We'll jump the gun to Rebic. We'll miss Rudiger because we probably don't have enough time. So we're going to look at Rebic. How much does he go for in a Hunter? And normally what I would rec probably recommend in um, in future is to sort of like... If you don't think you're quick enough um, to search the player up before it expires... 3.5k, then I would suggest, you know, going two or three minutes out and then respectively searching those players up. So he goes for about 3.5. We're going to put another 2.7k bid in. We don't want to go much higher because obviously we do want actually want to make coins. So he goes for 3.5. So if he goes for 3.5, we probably could sell him for around about 3.3. So let's put in 2.3 and see what we can do with that. The next player we're going to be looking at is Jonathan Tarr, centre-back, a very OP a defender on this game having played with him you know a couple of my uh, weekend league teams on my main account pretty op so again we just look how much he goes for in a shadow how much is he going for four thousand so he's a little bit less than four thousand let's go three thousand six hundred three thousand five hundred so you could probably say even though he hasn't sold yet three thousand three hundred would probably sell so you're probably looking at 3.4k so we're gonna you know maybe put in two thousand eight hundred and that would be our last bid. If we get outbid, we get outbid. So we've won a wise off for 2.7k. We're going to probably look to sell that for around about 4,000 coins. A bit of an undercut. Uh, Rebic, we saw that goes for 3.5. Again, we're probably going to try and sell it for around about 3,400. Again, that'll probably you know be around about 1,000 coins after tax. Jonathan Tarr goes for around about 3,500 also. Unfortunately, we got outbid because of how close, you know, the, the open bid was to the actual lowest part. Now, we're just going to move on. Bergering, right. He, there was a, you know, a couple of weeks ago, this card would probably go for around about 4 or 5k. I don't think this is a good deal, but we're going to search him up nonetheless. So, 3k. Is there any up at 3k? There is. So, obviously, as you can tell, that's not the greatest of deals. 2.3. Um, no, that's not a good deal. 
So now what we would do is we're going to list the players that we actually have won, which is the wiser. We're going to probably list him for 4,000 coins, and we can list it up for an hour. Uh, what you can do, obviously, is... At night time, open, bi open bids with these cards are so OP. So if you go to bed and you spend half an hour to an hour, you could probably make like a, you know, if you're looking for a, a thousand coin profit per card, then you could probably make 30 or 40K, list them up overnight for six hours. The majority would, would sell. So now, right guys, so obviously now I've shown you live what you would do with this technique. I'm now going to go and win some players and I could come back with what I've won. Right guys, we are back. We have 4,000 coins in the bank. I'm going to show you some sales and cards that we've actually picked up. So we bought this Thiago Mendes for about 2,500. Starting for 3,100, not the greatest deal. And Diddy we picked up. We made about a thousand coins. Rebic that you saw, we sold we sold 3.4k. This Muriel we bought for three thousand coins and a hunter, but he was actually a, a cam as well, so he had a hunter and a position change. Sold him for 4.2k. Brennett we bought for two thousand coins, sold for three thousand five hundred. Wiser hasn't sold, but we've picked up some good deals here. We got Sergio Roberto for 3.4. We got Torreira for 1.5. A Gaya for 2.7, and a Bakioko for 800. Uh, a Burnett for 3k. A Hausenberg for 1k and a Murillo for 1k. So we're just going to search up a couple of them. So we're going to search up Torreira. How much does Torreira go for in a shadow? So Torreira probably goes for around about 3k, I'd imagine. I've traded with him before, but obviously that was, you know, maybe a couple of weeks ago. So things have obviously changed since then. So we're looking about 3,000. 3, we we'll probably we'll, we'll double our coins easily. We're doubling our coins easy, so we're going to put them up for three thousand coins. And the thing that's good about with this method is that you don't really need a lot of coins to sort of double your money and like have like a hundred percent on return on investment. Like I said, look, like one thousand five hundred coins. I'm going to be able to sell this card for three k. Let's look at um, Bakioko for example. We picked up this Bakioko for eight hundred coins in a shadow. A couple of years ago, Bakioko was an absolutely OP player, and he was going for a couple of K. So let's just see how much he is going for. We paid 850 coins for this card. Look, the return on investment on this card is a joke. We're going to undercut that card quite a lot, so we're going to put it up for around about 2,500. We paid 800 coins. So that just shows, as, as, that is an unreal example. Um, what the return on investment is, what, 300%? That's absolutely crazy. So that's great to see. And... Obviously, we're going to list these up. I know this card goes for around about 2,500. So, we're going to, again, that's 100% plus. That's, that's lovely. And the, the thing with this method also is that open bids at night, you, you know, if you just flick through the players, you would be able to make a lot of coins because people don't really want to pick up a Bakioko, a Hausenberg, or Torreira in a shadow. They like, they're like, oh, you know, people have upgraded their teams, but, you know, as as by the sold list here, people will still buy these cards. Obviously, it might not. It might take 15, 20 minutes. Something's just sold. I think here. Hausenberg just sold for two and a half k. We just bought him for one thousand coins. So right, guys, we're gonna buy some more cards, and I'll be back in a second. Guys, as you can see, we've tripled our coin balance. We was on fifteen thousand at the beginning of this episode. We're now on 45,000. We're just going to go into the transfer list and show you what's sold. As you can see, 21 items out of 22 items sold. So, guys, we used the Shadow and sometimes we used the Hunter uh, method. And we, we sold a couple of Rodrigo's for 3.8 and 3.9, respectively. We sold three Terreras for 3k each. We sold a Gaia, a Gaia for 4.5k, which we got for about 2.7. That Hausenberg that you saw, we bought for 1k, sold for 2.5. Probably the best deal regarding return on investment. We bought this Bakioko for 850 coins, we sold them for 2.5k. We bought this Burnout for around about 3.4k, sold for 5.2. We got this Kappa for around about 2k, sold it for 3.9. That Wiser just gone past him that wiser didn't sell in the first hour for 4k but we did eventually sell him for 3.7 he sold in the second listing this dalbert was probably the most coins uh profit yeah most profit from one one card we bought him for 4k we sold him for seven and a half so it's around about 3.2k coins after ea commission 
And the only car that actually didn't sell within like the first hour or so was this Cess Fabricast that we picked up for 1K. We should be able to sell for 1.7 to 2,000 coins. So guys, if you're enjoying this, uh, this series so far, you're going to learn a lot of trading methods. At the moment, we can only really do like this kind of method and maybe the silver method because of the amount of coins we actually have. But once we hit maybe about 100k, which should be within the next episode or two, then we're going to use a number of methods, maybe some inform, inform uh, applying shadow and hunter to cards and sell them on for a profit. So guys, please give it a like as it will greatly help my channel. So that would be greatly appreciated. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll check you in the next episode. See you later.